Management. We moved here in the year 2000. Um, I'm a potter. My husband had a restaurant here, and uh, uh, the dog situation was horrible then. We used to have packs of wild dogs that uh, roamed the beaches, and sometimes they'd get all riled up and bite a tourist, and then the city would round them all up and electrocute them. And it was just a horrible situation. And neighbors were poisoning neighbors' dogs, and you know, it was just horrible. So we just started taking, and there were puppies everywhere, because there was no spay and neuter. So there were puppies everywhere, and people would let their dogs have puppies, and then they'd dump them in an empty lot somewhere. So then, you know, they'd wander out in the street, and people would pick them up. And there were these two lovely women who had a, a bookstore called Cosmic Cosas, and they had, they had the puppies in their bookstore. and. Um, what happened was eventually they ended up with so many puppies in their bookstore that it smelled so bad that they were losing customers. <laughs> so I told them I'd take the puppies home during the day and uh, or overnight and feed them and take care of them and bring back a couple every day so they would be healthy and clean and people could look at them and maybe adopt them. And I haven't been dogless since then. And that was, I don't know. 13 years ago. 13 years ago, you know. So it just grew. I didn't mean to do this. It just happened. And there was no one else on the island working on it. There's no, there's no Pereira. There's no dog pound. There's no nothing. Their answer when I got here was to electrocute the animals. And it's the worst, most horrific thing you've ever seen in your life. So we've been working on educating people and I've been taking in way too many dogs, finding them homes. And the main thing is spay and neuter. That's what we concentrate on, spay and neuter. That's it, that's it, you know? And even me taking in these dogs is using energy that if I was using it for spay and neuter, I'd probably, we'd get there faster, but I can't walk past these dogs, you know? I mean, what are you gonna do? Walk past some little puppy beside the road that's been hit by a car? I don't think so. so. So here we are. We usually have about 40 or 45 dogs, which is too many. And uh, we specialize in puppies because nobody wants puppies because they're unvaccinated, they get sick. Okay. <laughs> These puppies are, uh, you know, they just, the mothers are malnourished. They're malnourished when they're nursing them. The puppies have no immune system whatsoever. So it's a long time to get them to a normal, healthy state where they're vaccinated, spayed and neutered, um, rabies shots, and then we can find them. So that's what we do. People sometimes come here, fall in love with one if they're on a friendly airline, dog-friendly airline. If the dog is ready to go, then I will send them back. I will let them take them. But with the I, papers. I, yeah, with all the papers. I've how gotten, many? How many have been sent? Uh, well, adopted? over five thousand. Oh. Five thousand three hundred. Well, when you put it over thirteen years, that's like four hundred a year. Better. I know they don't electrocute them anymore because I used to follow the truck. One time, I let all the air out of the tires. <laughs> It is a lot better. We've been spaying and neutering for 13 years, and it's a small island, but we still have lots of problems. People still don't spay and neuter their dogs. They still don't vaccinate them. You know, it's, we're not done yet.